deal that he actually gets when using it on creeps. Yeah, it's he's almost back up to full there, actually, when he's going for it. One more Aphotic Shield's gonna be ready, but it's not gonna come soon enough. No, it actually does. Snaking able to turn now, and Tim's going to drop. First Blood, drawn by Skitter. Pretty as can be. Yeah, what a great bait there from Then the Decided to give the kill to enemy carry, so good to start for Skeeter. Jackie taking some damage here. They will throw out the Nightmare to get some separation, and Snaking is gonna go down to the tower, so yeah. Safe, and they have kill potential. Like, if they get on top of him, plus a Spirit Siphon, now Bane has no move speed and has no mana to work with, so he should be pretty dead here. Yeah, tries to juke away, Skem off in the trees, they get the vision, Boundless Strike is out. One last little punch comes on in from 3-3 three, three to secure the kill. Uh, you know that you can't lose it unless your partner disconnects for like five <laughs> plus minutes. Ooh, no punch. They missed there, actually. And, well, able to get the DD rune. Now you guys got to be careful. They turn back around as the punch is missed on oh, the Oh, now you need to get out. Oh, he's got to get the heck out of there, yeah. Didn't connect on the magnetize just a little that I, I don't die. He gets an earn charge, survives because of that, has raindrop, uh, buying an extra wind lace. Is uh, there's just not enough damage. Like no. tiny, there, he does not have his combo ready. It's one one three build. And now popping the exorcism scam in a ton of trouble. It's gonna get uh, a lot of numbers counting up on his head, and none of them mean anything good for the poor old Bane. As nine comes on in, gets the last little punch, but on the other side. They take down 3-3, Tim's made the rotation over, and now looking for the kill, Yopash is in the area as well. They see absolutely everybody, jumps in with the cookie, throws out the scatter blast. Do they have enough to get this kill? It looks like they probably do. Soxa trying to hide away, but it won't happen. So, yeah. Yeah, 33 overextended a little bit. The rest of the team decided to chase. Uh, FBZ in trouble. Yeah, he's pretty dead. The magnetize is used. Uh, they have the urn charge on top of that. Uh, this is like the classic mid earth spirit making a long time. The ult is up. He pops it, keeps farming. I'm not saying Midas is a good item here because a lot of things changed since his time in Penta. Roll in. Wants to find some people. An avalanche to interrupt. Nine, very tanky on the Earth Spirit. Not going to go for anything extra. Skitter thought about pulling in onto Tim's. Doesn't get the stun off in time, but Nine is there afterwards for the roll and cooking the illusion. And now popping the ulti. Snaking getting brought down low in some trouble, but they're going to find the bigger kill here onto Yopaj. That's a core one. That is not the fight that Boom wanted at all. Another little look up there. 3-3 three, three, trying to get some damage on to this mid tower. Can FBZ make the play here? Swap. Make a swap. Good play there. Immediately into the far away. This is what they needed. FBZ gets brought down. And this is why Panel talked about how Venge is a really good pickup for them because he can isolate one hero. And While they're getting some free farm time on the Tiny, but Soxa, too far forward, getting a good chunk of damage out there. They have ulti if they want to use it instead. Tim's moves on in, gets the swap, another end of spells maybe, but Snaking is there. Soxa going to take a nice chunk of damage and actually able to get away from that one. Turned into the Mischief Courier and suddenly they're backing out again. Slept for the moment. Now they go in with that arena. Drop down from FPZ. A ton of damage out. Snaking ulti out as well. But now they have the Wukong's command. Circles on circles as Jackie gets stunned. Three seconds there. Able to get a little bit of extra separation. Jackie's still alive. Guys, it's wearing off and it's not going to be enough. But they have the Exo. Tosses away Skinner. He's so low on the tiny 40 HP. But he's going to be able to get out. Oxa in a perfect position to break this one if they break onto him. But they see him jump now onto the creep wave. And instead, they're going they to the want bigger the big target. one. 3-3, three, three. this is a huge one if they get it, but the silence. Oh, they grip though. Skemba's in the area. Can he break this? It doesn't look like it's gonna end up mattering as they get the kill. Soxa just trying to jump away now. Meanwhile, they pull back in another. Yopaj, are they actually trying to fight this here? Boom in a sort of weird positioning together, but it looks like they're gonna try and retreat back. But the good catch, nine able to find Yopaj. Stun, he gets, gets the stun high ground. They have this. Oh, one second, this swap out tips, keeping him alive. Yopaj saved by Tim's, everything that they could have hoped for there, and maybe Tim's even gets out. Now trying to run away, Jackie on the other side, finding nine, gets hit by the stun, FPC, they turn, Mischief dodges, Soxa able to get a little bit of separation. They back out from nine, now Soxa gets turned on, they throw everything, the kitchen sink, and in the end, only one hero dies. Yeah, by a hundred, and also it bounces once. So that's gonna be good, like if Abba gets closed, he's gonna get stunned, so if he wants to get a shield off, he needs to be very careful. I love this shard. This is uh, not gonna say my, one of my favorite ones, but it's a good boost to Venge. The swap, Back pulls there it in. is. Tim stunned there, hits him over on the side for snaking. He wasn't able to keep alive. 
Soxa at all. Tim's almost pulled back in, but not quite in time. All right, boom. Making good use of that shard right out of the gate. And now Avalanche. Jackie looking for more. They have the ulti afterwards. Toss up, trying to bring him down. Nine rolls in afterwards. Do they have enough to kill off all these heroes? Jackie in some NBC trouble. There's coming so in. much damage coming out, but is it going to be enough? Uh, boom might be in a little bit of trouble here. They already lost the tiny. Tundra now looking for more scam. It's going to be another tasty morsel taken down. Bought it yet on side of Tundra. The game changed so much after the shard has been moved from 20 minute mark to 15. Find the silence. Scam is going to be the sacrificial one left behind. As per usual for Boom, there's that nightmare just to be annoying at the end of it. They know. This is EXO level 2, so the Roshan will go down pretty quickly. Snapfire ulti is available. Mars oh, ready to jump in. Oh, gotta be careful. FBZ, he's looking for it. There's the Avatos, though, to start this one off. And nine. he's dead right at the start. There's no buyback. They have to get something here. Tundra, I mean, they dropped the Wukong's command. They're still in the EXO. This has gotten very strange for Tundra now. Roshan is half HP. And FBZ walks on through. Double checks. He's like, yeah, they're not in there, are they? Is he in there? He is, right? That's yeah. Roshan. He's in the house. <laughs> Roll in, finds one. Tim throws up the stun. It bounces onto two of them. Now able to catch Snapfire Ultimate from downtown. Tundra taking a good chunk of damage. They also have the Fiend script onto this Earth Spirit. Tim's walks back in, throws out another round of stuns, and they get the kill. Off of that one, beautifully played. Skitter pops his BKB. They buy back on the bench. Skim battling it out with 3 3, but eventually, Nopage will get brought down. Skim Oh, also... the urn got a thick down. Yeah, yeah. He's going to die too. No safety from Tier 2 Tower. And oh, they're looking for a fight. Don't have vision yet. And they will run on in. Break now. They're under vision. Uh, this this is fully aware of what's happening. Good blink out by Jackie. Boom. Who are they going to find? They jump onto one. Going to pull him back in afterwards. They TP in. At least it's he a die back from there. And he's in trouble. That's two dead instantly. And now Jackie also running it down. Do they have enough damage to bring him down before the TP? They do. They find that kill. Oh, Tundra blew this game yeah. wide open. Run straight into Roche Pit. The Vengeful Spirit bought. Still a lot of game left to be played in this one. It's a 3,000 gold lead. But the bigger thing is going to be these next couple of minutes determined how they go by Tundra. Although Nine finds Yopaj right at the start. Got him caught in some trouble. Tries to cookie out, seeing if he can get some separation. But they pull him back in now. Skinner's there. Do they have enough? Yopaj is going to get blown up as well. And plus a silence. So like Bane, uh, Venge, he can easily get solo kills. And this hero consumes a lot of mana. FBZ caught, three seconds stun. Oh, and they get the Boundless Strike afterwards onto Tim's double stun. FBZ throws Swap. out the spear. Not but a come. Oh, Avalanche Shots, look at that damage though. Is it going to be enough? It sounds so low, but they don't quite have it. Tundra back away. They lose the Monkey King, and now the grip on the Snake King. At the very least, Boom will be able to claim this one. That was so close. If, if they had Snapfire in that fight... <gasps> Yopash comes on in, cleans up. All right, that's what they needed. Boom, they're back in it. And it's level 3 aura. Yeah. I want to see the Vlads. I want to see Vlads on Venge just to buff up even more damage on Tiny. Skem, Link stun done. No buyback at all for this hero. Gyring, they're going to smoke out with four. Backline of Boom is going to have issues casting the spells. Bane, Drops. I... Looking, thinking, no posh, spot it there, jump in, stun on a two, and they have a toss and they push back with the spear, he's getting decimated. But Skinner, he still has that Aegis. Back up again in just a moment, 3-3 three, three in the midst of all of it, has a ton of damage. FBZ, BKB, gets the swapped out by Tim's, that keeps him alive. And now Jack tosses over 9-3-3. to three, three. FBZ manages to live somehow. They do lose the Venge, but that's the Aegis down. If be careful because Earth Spirit's already closing the gap. There's the Invis run. Invisibility, invincibility. Surely. Oh no, he's on a sentry. Oh, Yopash. Not like this. Yule BKB. Scepter. Does he get the blink out? BKB. TP. Good to go. So, recognizing the limits of his hero very well. Skim. Oh. Oh, this is this it, is sneaky. <laughs> just don't move. God, I hate don't, this. Don't, this don't, is what. Oh, no. He just got revealed there. <laughs> they just got revealed to pull him down. The sentry on the high ground. This is the worst ability to use it. Yopaj, like we said, has that level 20 talent now, but not a ton of damage on the Snapfire. And Soxa jumps in, finds the Boundless Strike. Gonna pop that Wukong's command down already at the start. FBZ, but they have the BKB, can roll through afterwards. Finds one hit there on the Yopaj. BKB running low. 
needs to get out the TP immediately. Oh, trying to escape. Yeah, he is completely decimated. Jackie Boy also now trying to just TP out of there, but they're all getting torn to shreds. One by one, they just didn't stand a chance. Oh, Yopash, he understood. Oh man, CK, he has that level 20 talent. He's gonna pull me with Reality Rift through BKB. I'm gonna die anyway, so let's... I might need to just go for the high ground defense. Uh, there is always this like... Oh, I'll, I'll hold that thought. Oh, good spear. spear. Back. Good play, FBZ. Has that BKB already used? Avalanche toss, trying to keep the rest of the team away. Nine, taking a lot of damage. Yopaj gets blown up, they take him down. And now the rest of them stuck inside that arena. Stun going out, going to connect. Now the turn. Oh, the dead is trying to tiny. Live. They keep him alive. The turn there, the Vengeance Aura. He was able to stay alive through all of it. Now they tear him to shreds. Snake King is going to try and keep alive Skitter if at all possible. BKB is already out. Skim under fire and going to fall. Can they get any more buyback? Avatars, Jackie back in, kills off Soxa. Now FBZ trying to find a bit more maybe. Skitter realizes I have to run. But a really interesting uh, dynamic that we have now with the farmed ABBA in this game. But he is but higher level than Earth Spirit. Yeah, that's <laughs> nuts. Oh, look at him though. They're gonna find Snaking right. The Serpent, they go for the back line. Oh, look at that arena, it's so much damage, but it will not be enough. Jackie trying to bring him down, but Tundra, they're too strong. That Ava ulti does so much to heal them all back up to full. Are you kidding me? The King did it again, all the healing in the world, and it didn't matter for poor old Boom. The silence is there. Poor Yopash is gonna go down. All right, they- Oh, uh... get that table, look at him. He loves it, the King. All right, I- for a minute, they're gonna go all in. Because they were standing inside the like those two spears and Snapfire ulti on top of that. Uh, so every everyone gets the heals oh from it. They're, they're going God. to finish. And just That's... trying to finish it all off of the Tiny needs to fight. buy back. They need a the long spear back. Of time. Inside the fountain, they bring him down. Jackie, uh, can they do it alone? Can they bring them all down? One by one by one. The ancient is exposed. They don't have exorcism going. 3-3, three, three, they turn now, trying to bring down Skem. Can they do it? They find in themselves another kill. Tossing in FBZ. Spear to try and keep him away. Jackie down low. Jackie dead. No buybacks on deck. And just like that, Tundra, they got a date in the upper bracket. Uh, what a performance from Tundra. Look at Snake. That smile. <laughs> that damn smile.